you called him your mentor. What are some lessons that you've kept through the years that he taught you? I think have respect for your fellow senators. I think another thing is working across the aisle. It hasn't gone unnoticed that this is certainly a contentious time uh, right now, this month, as well as this year for the U.S. Congress. What advice do you think he would give uh, those in the Congress right now? What went on with the infrastructure bill that the president signed, that was very much a bipartisan bill. There were people, five Republicans, five Democrats, working behind the scenes. He would urge more of that. I think that he would say, you know, how did we ever get here? You know, that'd be his first question to us. And maybe he would get you thinking about, you know, thinking about how the Senate used to operate. Godspeed, my friend. You've made a difference in my life. You've made a difference in our country. The last time he was in public was maybe when he needed some help up to salute H.W. Bush when he was laying in state, I believe. If you were on the telephone with Bob Dole these last few years, you'd never know that there was anything wrong with him. He had a strong voice. One week after his 98th birthday, I went to his apartment and he looked frail, but he was on top of things that we were doing on Capitol Hill. And that same strong voice was there. So I'll never remember a person on his deathbed as a Bob Dole. I'm going to remember a Bob Dole who was always strong, not always physically, but always strong and on top of things.